G'day AI and welcome. There will be no whining today. No whining at all. Well, maybe a little bit of whining. Actually, quite a bit of whining. All right, so here's my subjects here. I've, I've arranged them a few different ways. I'm kind of uh, relearning how to do manual again. Uh, and this was, a, I thought, a great little challenge. Number one, I'm indoors, but I got some washout light from the sun coming in there. So I've got a combination of a really bright light coming this way and a dark kind of wall this way in low light. So the camera is kind of having a, uh, you know, it, it's got its work cut out for it because it has to deal in low light with a washout. So getting the aperture right, uh, getting the uh, the depth of field right, getting all that right is, is kind of one of those things where it's, uh, you're going to play around and see, for example, I started off at uh, four point, I think this lens at, uh, I'm at 70 millimeter right now. This is my 18 to 70 mil uh, uh, Nikkor lens. It's a DX lens with the ED glass and it's an AF uh, uh, autofocus with the, the stabilization. Now, uh, what I've done is, uh, I don't see where I'm set right now. I'm at yeah, about 4.5 or whatever. So I, I've set my, I started off at 4.5, which will give me a really shallow depth of field and stuff like that but I won't get the full sharpness. Now I went up to, I think this lens goes right up to like 2.9 or something like that, uh, or, uh, yeah, or, uh, or to 22 or whatever, uh, 22 or 29, I kind of forget, I'll have to look in there, at 70, at 70, at, at the 18 it doesn't go that high, it goes I think this 60, 11 or 16 at, uh, at uh, 18 mil. But the thing is, is that I've done it all at that range, uh, to get the depth of field at the higher uh, aperture setting, but then I have to slow down my shutter too much, which over brightens my photo. So I've also pulled up the flash and tried some of that so I could, you know, quicken the, the shutter and see if I could get away with that without too much washout. Uh, but what I do got here is an interesting composition because uh, maybe it's picking up on this camera what, what I'm getting. I got some ambers, I got some browns, uh, I got some yellow, I got some dark, whatever. But when you put the flash to it, it boosts the colors. Now, I'm going to be probably using this as a, these wine bottles are going to be probably a subject for a while. I have no idea how those wine bottles are. And I don't really drink wine, uh, that type of thing. And uh, I don't know if the flash is actually good for wine, <laughs> but uh, I'm not doing too much. Uh, these wine bottles weren't properly stored. It's just, these are like Christmas gifts and stuff like that, that we got over the years. So I'm finally getting some use out of them anyway. Um, but I'm going to do a bunch of compositions with these wine bottles to see what I can come up with. Uh, basically, I'm doing stock photography right now. And when you're doing stock photography, sometimes simple concepts are the best way to go. you got to work with what you got. Uh, obviously, I don't have any other lights here, whatever. But uh, I could, uh, for example, uh, get a bright light uh, in the lamp and use the uh, and use the lampshade and stuff like that, but uh, to, to even out the light a bit more. But I was just going to try a couple of sample shots today to see what I can come up with, and if they they, they do well, uh, I'll see. Right now, I, I've set two settings. I set 200 ISO, and then I set 400 ISO. So just to kind of, I don't want to go much higher than 400. Usually, rule of thumb is you shoot 200 outside and you shoot 400 inside. If you have to go higher than 400, you tend to get too much noise in the photo. And especially if your shutter speed is a little bit lower. I was using the cable, but I find that the cable's a little bit... Uh, I don't like to use it unless I necessarily have to. Uh, but they are a handy little thing to have. Uh, obviously on the on the tripod. Not not the uh, state, most stable platform. But these are the test shots today. So I'll see how they come out. To, like I'll, I'll go over... I'm on uh, the biggest setting. So I've, I've took about 30 shots or whatever in different settings or whatever. So I'll go over them and I'll see which one I like the most. And then tomorrow I'll work in that range. Let's say it works best. Uh, the happy medium is a uh, eight aperture at 200 ISO uh, with uh, 1.3 seconds on the shutter or something like that. Maybe that'll be what it is. And I'll say, Oh, Hey, that came out nice and sharp. Then tomorrow what I'll do is I, I can, you know, change it around a bit uh it's a little bit strange to uh, get back into it and remember all your settings and stuff like that so it's a good idea to set something up like this that you can 
uh, basically you do a test run and see how you're doing. And if the shot comes out good, use the shot. But if it, if not, it's like, okay, well, I think I can do better. Uh, but subjects like this are great because, number one, you don't have to pay them. Number two, they, they, they stay stationary. Number three, if you get thirsty, well, but then you won't have any subjects anymore. But anyway, you, you get the idea. So this is where I'm starting. It's a lot of colors, really. It doesn't look like much color, but there's a lot of color there. Uh, and with lots of colors, if you can get the sharpness just right, uh, you might be able to do something now. The big one is watch out for logos. One bottle I may have to take out because it has, it's not really logos on there, but uh, it does have on there. So I might have to remove that bottle. But I just wanted to do it as, uh, I'll, see if the, I'll see if the photo gets rejected or not. Uh, right now I'm using Alamy and Big Stock Photo, Tree Stock, and what was the other one? Shutter Stock and eye stock but i haven't uploaded anything uh crease stock won't take anything from this camera because it's only 6.1 megapixels and neither will uh shutter stock but big stock photo which is owned by shutter stock uh will take it and i think you have to go through getty's images to upload to shutter stock uh, that type of thing so i'm slowly getting back into it as i get more on the go on it uh, i haven't made a cent in the last past month with it that i got into it uh, but it's kind of one of those things, you take a whole bunch of photos now, and then all of a sudden things start to sell. But simple concepts are the best, and I thought the wine bottles were a nice, simple concept. It's probably been, been done to death, uh, that type of thing, but it depends. There, there's always a new arraignment that might catch the eye and, and sell the photo. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, my batteries get low, so I'm going to have to do that. Uh, this would be a perfect opportunity for a fixed lens. This is an 18 to 70 millimeter lens. Uh, if I had a solid 50 millimeter standard lens, uh, this would be the perfect opportunity. I'd probably even get a little bit closer, whatever. Uh, I am going to probably try this at a bunch of different uh, focal lengths. The nice thing at 70 is that that's really portrait area. Like 50 to 105 is kind of portrait, right? So you can get really nice detail on the bottles, even though there's not a lot of details, but you can get the shine off of it. You can get, you know, the colors really to pop out and stuff like that. Uh, the other thing is, is I'd love to do this in pitch black dark, uh, but I don't have the light to do it. And painting with the uh, painting with light with a camera can be very cool. I've seen some other people do it and it's like, wow, Hey, I never tried that one before. I'm going to try that. Uh, and when I do that, I'll show you, but I'll show you the sample shots from this photo shoot just to show you what I got, uh, playing around. Some of it's not going to be so good. Some of it might be really good. It's kind of one of those feel, feel it out by trying different aperture settings, uh, I, I went basically like 4.5 uh, to like 6, uh, that type of thing. Uh, I think this goes down to 2.8 on, on the 18, but at uh, 70 mil, it starts at 4.5 or something like that. So 4.5, 6.3, 8, uh, 11, 16, uh, uh, then 22 aperture. And I, and I did that and then various different shutter settings between uh, I think one uh, one point between uh, point say point two of a second which is about a half second to as slow as is like three seconds that type of thing or maybe two and a half seconds or whatever so you get different things um, get different settings the shutter speed is the one that uh, it, it gives you the exposure rate, right? So that 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 gives you either a, a a picture that's going to let in a lot of light and brighten it up or over it and wash it out, or it'll be so dark that you can't see what's going on and whatever. Uh, the sharpness will be the aperture, just so for those of you who are, who are newer, that's what will give you your depth of field on how sharp the bottles will be and the background in co contrast to the to the bottles uh, which although my background isn't very far so the depth of field will be pretty 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 sharp everything will be in pretty good and then of course your ISO will either brighten or darken the photo for indoors so again uh, this one if I want to slow down uh, speed up the shutter maybe I might have to go up to 800 ISO but then I don't want to go that Again, that's when, when P, the photo looks great at, at its uh, normal size, but once you get it bigger, then it gets, uh, gets too uh, dark. So anyway, I'll leave it at that, and I'll throw in some sample shots.